My name is David Dow. I would never give up. Here I am in Las Vegas where my story began. There's a saying here, what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. 17 years ago, I almost stayed in Vegas permanently. But thanks to modern medicine of 17 years ago, I am here to tell you my story. We were taking a family vacation to Las Vegas and no one was more excited than I was. Okay, we'll get out of school. <laughs> yes! Thank you! The excitement for a 10 year old boy was almost too much. I wanted to ride the roller coaster at New York, New York, see the neon lights and a Vegas show. But things did not turn out as anyone expected. An undiagnosed brain disorder called Moya Moya disease ambushed me and I had a massive stroke. I got to see the bright lights in a Vegas show all right, but the show was the doctors performing miracles to save my life. And the bright lights were on the machines around my hospital bed. However, when I woke, I was paralyzed from the stroke and isolated from everyone because I also had aphasia, which prevented any meaningful communication. I could not understand what people said to me, nor I could not tell anyone what I was thinking, feeling, or needing. My body wasn't working and my brain wasn't working. To say this was a life-changing experience is an understatement because it certainly changed my life. It also changed the lives of my family. In the years that followed, I began the slow, long, and frustrating road to recovery. The brain research of that time allowed the doctors to, t to save my life and surgically fix the Moya Moya disease issues. There were two distant areas of rehabilitation. The physical therapy was easier in many ways because my progress could be seen. I had to change from being right-handed to left-handed. I slowly learned to use a wheelchair, then progressed to standing and walking with support. And now I can walk without a cane. Speech therapy included speaking, reading, writing, and frustration. I still have some trouble with words, but I keep learning. At first, I could not understand anything people were saying, and I struggled to tell others what I needed and how I felt. It was as if I was in a foreign land and no one spoke my language. When asked where my nose was, I would touch my ear. I was sure I was right, but my brain was confused. I spent more than half of my life in rehabilitation and speech therapy. The debt I owe to all the therapists, doctors, nurses, and teachers is beyond words. I can't even imagine where would I would be today if it wasn't for all those caring, dedicated people. Because of brain research, my life was saved and my recovery continues. Brain research has steadily improved since then, and we have so much to learn. During the 17 years since my Las Vegas vacation, treatment methods have continued to improve medical procedures and prevention for more and more stroke and aphasia has advanced because of brain research. Let's put our brains together to support brain research.